Hey, what's up? Today we're doing another Your Stupid video where we look at all the people in the world that make us feel better about ourselves. Thank you for posting these pictures and these videos and all this stuff because now I feel smarter. I mean, not that much smarter. I'm very self-aware of my own intelligence. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button unless you want to wait a little bit and see what you like. That's fine. You could also hit the like button, leave some feedback in the comments. Also, stay tuned to the end of the video to find out what's happening in this video here. Why is this man slapping a raccoon? Who knows? Find out soon. You know how we do. We show the pictures, then we show the videos at the end of the video. Anyway, let's get into it. Your stupid number 72. Let's do it. If you play video games more than two to three hours a week, you're wasting your life. Oh, yeah, it helps you relax. Congratulations, you're on the same spiritual level as a functional alcoholic. You've been on Twitter since October 2020 and have 20,700 tweets, which means you're averaging 40 tweets per day. You have a problem, sir. Addiction just shows itself in different ways. I see video gaming as a healthy addiction, as long as it's not absorbing your entire life. That's what I do to relax. I take Great offense to this, okay? I relax every night by playing a couple hours of video games. Unless there's like a movie or something I want to watch, I just throw on a game, I chill out, and that is my time. That's me time, and you're not taking it away because you don't understand video games, you confused man. Loose gravel. Okay. Uh, that's a lot bigger than a little piece of loose gravel. If someone told me loose gravel was on a road, I'd be like, okay, I'll step around it. I didn't think I'd need to bring my rock climbing gear. Maybe it was loose gravel and someone was like oh fine whatever i'll just step over the loose gravel and they were like no that means bigger rocks can fall oh, there it is yep he got crushed here's another sign no signs on fence but you're a sign the sign should be staked into the grass behind the fence just for principle how many times am i gonna have to cut this sign off the fence someone keeps putting it up stolen camera transmitted from burglar's home home breaking stolen camera still on oh, you're smart well the first thing you gotta do is make sure it's not recording you literally just took what they're like cam from their house they're like security camera and you're just like yeah i want to give you more evidence so i think i'll take you home i'll put you down i'm gonna get my wallet out show you my id oh man how long did this camera stay on you know he started walking around naked at some point singing songs he was probably feeling really good about his robbery he just did like i'm gonna get so much money and that's just how i picture burglars i picture someone running stealing a woman's purse and then like running home and immediately celebrating naked i don't know that's just me that's not what i would do but that's what i think they do i said my name was Mark with a C. Yeah, and they had enough of your shit. That's your name now, Kark. Maybe they're sick of pretentious people coming up and being like, oh, it's, it's with a C. They're like, oh yeah, is it? Oh, okay. Oh, God forbid I spell it with a K. What are you going to do? Throw the coffee on me? It's probably like a pet peeve of this person. So they just mess up everyone's names. Just drink your coffee, Kark. Stop complaining. My uncle got an iPhone finally after using a flip phone for 17 years. Here's his first text message to me. Heard you finally got an iPhone yesterday. Let me know if you need any help with it. Love, Soapy Milk. Get it for the get for get. The texting will take some getting used to. Much different than your old flip phone, but you'll get the hang of it. I think ink. I need just no money monkeys used to banana bread. <laughs> It's like he just gave up and slammed his head into the phone. Oh, you know, when you need those money monkeys used to make banana bread, he's like, I got a money monkey making scheme here. Banana bread. You get the monkeys to make the banana bread. Why can't I text this? He'll get the hang of it or he'll smash his phone trying. Dad fined because his car's shadow was in disabled spot outside the post office. A shadow beneath the car had stretched into a disabled bay. Oh, how dare he? A $65 fine he received because his car's shadow was in a disabled space. Who called in on this? Whoever is this parking guard, this parking ticket person, you're on a serious power trip sitting there waiting for the day to change having your lunch like nope the shadow's in there you can fight that i hope he fights this ticket that's just stupid maybe there's a person who's disabled and their disability is being frightened of shadows and that was the problem doctor you have 249 minutes to live me taylor swift the eras tour running time two hours 49 minutes wow 
Math is hard. This isn't making Taylor Swift's fan base look good. Also, what's up with this picture of Taylor Swift? Does she just fart into a microphone now? Is that what people are into? She doesn't even sing anymore. She's just like, hey guys, I'm here. Today I'm gonna do everybody cheers, right? She's like, yeah, you know, I used to sing, but me people are much more into my farts now. I would not even be surprised with the way the world's going right now. It's like her next tour is going to be Taylor Swift the fart tour. Elon Musk softens go yourself comment after he tries to woo advertisers back to the platform. Elon Musk said his remark telling advertisers go yourself was meant as a general point on free speech rather than a comment to the wider industry yeah, I was trying to do some real smart free speech thing. Please come back. Just get on your knees and beg. Just do that. It'll work, trust me. Like, please come back. Just own it. Come on, you just gotta own it. Stop trying to hide. Stop letting your ego get in the way of things, Elon. A dark conspiracy I 100% believe is if you put organ donor on your license, the first responders are more likely to let you die at the scene of the accident. Especially if it's the end of the month and they haven't met their quota. Their quota of what? Organs? When I tell EMTs I ride a motorcycle, I see their pupils dilate slightly with excitement. Their pulse cranking up a few beats, their mouth slightly agape, as they start to envision me not as a man, but a meat sack laden with precious organs. Damn. Is there anyone out there that's a paramedic that can at least back up paramedics here and say that you're not all psychopaths just trying to cut organs out of people? Maybe the paramedics are just trying to help people live. Although if you're under 25 and you got in a car accident and you're an organ donor. Gynecology restaurant. Taco Tuesday is only weird if you make it weird. Gynecology restaurant. No, wait, did I use this one already? I think I did. Still. Very bad idea to put the gynecology and the restaurant in the same direction. Because now people are going there expecting to have an exam and a steak dinner. It's nice because my husband can come to my gynecology exams. He can have the steaks, I get the ribs, and I find out everything's fine. Wow, this is the best dinner date ever. Speaking of food, here's a lots of sperm pizza. Oh, this is apparently the label on a frozen pizza. Lots of sperm pizza, huh? So you don't use mozzarella, I see. The cheese. Oh, that's what happens when they say it's a no cheese pizza. Oh, I'm on to you. Okay, I don't want the lot of sperm pizza. Even if I know it doesn't have that, I'm sorry, I see that. I'm like, mm, just in case, I'm not gonna eat it. Oh, here's another one. Retail price, $2.98, orgasmic blueberries. Oh, they must be some really good blueberries then, like, hell nice. It's either blueberries that you look at them and they're like, having little blueberry orgasms or you put them in your mouth and you're like whoa my god this is the best blueberry i've ever had they call us nazis because we are white how's that for racism uh i think it's actually because of the giant fucking swastika and yeah, that might be true it might be the flag that you chose to hang behind you oh yeah it's because we we're white oh and i also carved this swastika into my forehead but you know what and you know, not to get these girls more excited, but the hell am I looking at right here? Is he still alive? What's going on here? This is going to drive the conspiracy theorist crazy. Like, no, I saw him. No, nope, that's proof. No, this guy just, oh, this guy has got to know what he looks like, right? He's leaning into it. Do you go to birthday parties? Is this like your job to be a Hitler impersonator? Instead of like going to a birthday party as a clown, you go there and you're like doing like dictator speeches or something. Like, oh yeah, no, I'm really popular at parties where people have bald heads. I just always see bald heads and hoods at my parties. I don't know why. That's the hats they like to wear. They're not pointy birthday hats, that's for sure. That is scary. I'm actually a little bit frightened. Are you like an actor in between sets or something is that it apparently this is a rule i never knew existed rule number one if you something up do it so bad everyone will wonder how that's even possible but honestly how is that even possible it's like you took these trucks and you're deliberately propping this up with them oh i see what happened here this truck was carrying these two white vans and it crashed into the gas station and yeah the hell? That load of vans is not getting to where it needs to go. Also, it's the only thing holding the gas station up. You just pull up there like, can I still get gas? Does this work? How long do you think this will hold for? I only need like 20 bucks. That is a frightening situation to be in. I mean, if you went under there to pump gas, it would be frightening. But also for the person driving the truck, I'm sure it was pretty frightening. Speaking of a crashed truck, did you see this video? <laughs> Ah! 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 
This was like some serious straight out of Paw Patrol crap right here. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, always on the double. Paw Patrol, Paw Patrol, there's one that's named Rubble. I don't know the words. Okay? But that's what I imagined in my head is my jumbled version of the song while this is happening. She got rescued. Everything was fine. This is the person who Biden brought out to campaign for him. I saw it, so now you have to. She doesn't know who Jack Black is, lol. Look, that is Jack Black just being Jack Black. That's him in his prime. He's lucky Chris Farley isn't around still because I'm sure they'd be competing doing pretty much the same crap. I want to see Jack Black fall down a hill. I want to see it. I want to compare. I want him to do his best Chris Farley fall down a hill. See who nails it. See if he can nail it. He's the closest thing we have to Chris Farley, okay? I don't know. I'm just a real hardcore Chris Farley fan. I would kiss him on the lips if he came back to life. If it took that to bring him back to life, I would definitely kiss him on the lips. Probably pretty rotted by now. But still, I would do it if it brought him back to life. Here's a group of idiots that sprayed Stonehenge with orange paint. Stonehenge sprayed with orange powder paint by Just Stop Oil Activists. What does Stonehenge have to do with oil? There's a video of this happening too. Here it is. Good for the people who tried to fight him off. And this guy, like, he starts getting fought and he just sits on the floor. These protesters are so annoying. They're like, nope, I'm not going to move. I'm not going to move. You can't move me. Oh, it's annoying. All you do is annoy people. Stonehenge was built 5,000 years ago. Do you think Stonehenge has anything to do with our problems these days? Just leave it for what it is. You're destroying a piece of history, a piece of ancient history. For what? Because you have no better way to prove your point. You have no better way to get noticed. They're always destroying art or history, and I don't get it. Just stop. Find a better way to get your message across. This is stupid. Honestly, I'm more on the oil side now. I don't even know what you're trying to fight against, but I hate you. I hate you already. For those not following, the G is actually quite important to the way you pronounce the word. Without it, you will get something completely different. This person put, my diploma is as useless as the G in lasagna. And they thought they were being pretty clever, but I guess they didn't actually try to say the word lasagna without the G. Try it. It's uh, lasagna. 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 You wouldn't say it the same. You wouldn't read it the same. So what you're saying, I get what you're trying to say. But you're dumb, it doesn't make sense. Lasagna. I love Lasagna. Trolls star Justin Timberlake's mugshot following his arrest in New York City for DWI. Okay, that disappoints me, Mr. Justin Timberlake, that you got a DWI. But uh, that all aside, also your tearing up eyes. Are those the bloodshot eyes of alcohol or is that because you're so sad? Anyway, why is it trolls that you put down there? He's done a lot more than trolls, all right? Hmm, that's the stupid part in this is just noticing Justin Tribble. I didn't even know he was in the movie Trolls. That is the last thing I noticed him from. He's he's from uh from Dick in a Box from SNL, right? That's where he first really made his mark. Sally, do you have time to watch a play together tomorrow? Sorry, dude, she gave you the wrong number. Sorry, I entered the numbers in the wrong order. Hope I didn't interrupt your beautiful day. No worries, LOL. I'm just glad you were able to get the right number. Thank you for your understanding. It's always good to make new friends. My name is Lillian, 36 years old, single, and you? I am not a scam artist. This is not a voice recording. Please send me $200 so we can hang out. I just need it for the cab fare. Ah, <laughs> V-Mommy. Josh Lucas admits his good looks sometimes got him dismissed in Hollywood. It's not easy having movie star good looks. At least that's according to Palm Royal's Josh Lucas, who admitted that he often found himself typecast or just straight up written off in Hollywood because he was almost too easy on the eyes. I was 
thoroughly dismissed for it, frankly, Lucas told Chloe. Wow, Lucas, way to be very humble about yourself. Actually, you know what? Maybe that's my problem on YouTube. I would be so much more popular if the algorithm wasn't trying not to send me to people because I'm too beautiful. They just see me as this piece of beautiful me trying to send me to people that are intimidated by my looks. That's what it is. People are intimidated by me. I'm too funny and good looking. So when they see my video, they run away. They don't like me. I actually don't know who Josh Lucas is. So maybe he's right. He's just too beautiful for me to remember. Okay, here's a disgusting one. This is a picture of Woody Allen and his eight-year-old adoptive daughter who he raised and groomed to be his wife who he is now married to still. This is sick. He's not in jail, nor this is even talked about. This is the worst thing I've ever seen or heard of, and I had to search for it. My question... Where are the Woody Allen memes? Okay, I'm just saying this is disgusting, and I've known about this for a while, and it's the reason I've never even given Woody Allen's movies a chance. I just, I can't see him as anything more than a, like, groomer for this. And it's like, okay, yeah, technically this isn't your blood relative, but you still raise this girl like your child. So obviously people are gonna ask questions like, was there weird things going on? This is disgusting, plain and simple. And it's just a child that's been manipulated. I'm sure she thinks she's in a good situation, but does she have a choice? Oh, you're a sick man. Ugh, Hollywood. Some of the biggest sickos are in Hollywood. I could not imagine raising someone from a young age and then being like, hey, you know what? I'm gonna marry you, actually. Wife material. Ugh, it's disgusting. Ugh. I hope she wakes up one day and realizes what you did. And even if she did, she's probably in a situation where she's stuck. There's probably nothing she can do. And nobody is even doing it. Like, shouldn't he be in jail? I don't understand. How is that even legal? You were legally her guardian, were you not? How can you legally marry someone who you are legally the guardian of? Makes no sense. Anyway, let's move on from this. My friend said he won't use matches to light his smokes because the chemicals in matches are toxic. Oh no, don't tell him what's in a cigarette. One day he's going to wake up and realize and be like, wait a minute, what? I thought it was just mist and air. He's watching too many ads from the 50s that said cigarettes were good for you. I told this girl I was dating that I was stressed out from bills and helping my folks out financially. She said, let me take you out to get your mind off things. Went to a nice restaurant for dinner and when the bill came, she passed that MF right to me. Why do men feel the need to go through things alone? This was his answer to that question. Yeah, that's kind of... It doesn't matter that it's a man or a woman. If you offer to take someone out, it's implied that you're paying. Especially if it's like, oh, someone passed away or something bad happened to you. And you're like, I'm going to take you out to make you feel better. It's implied that you're paying. Sure, they might offer to split the bill, but you still... It's implied that you're putting some money up for it. At the very least, paying for your own meal. The saddle spur with a patented backrest redefines cycling comfort, performance, and efficiency, claims its creator. Yeah, redefines a pain in your ass. What happens when I hit a bump and I go up off my seat and, oh, just shift back about an inch? Damn! Better lube up before you get on your bike, just in case. Oh, taint store. A taint store? That's weird. That's a real niche thing. Um, actually, no thank you. I'm okay. I already have have a taint and I don't really see a need for an extra one. Maybe if mine gets removed in a tragic accident or something, I can come to your store. Oh, what? It's a paint store. Oh, it's for paint. Oh, it's paint. Okay. All right. Who decided on your sign? Yeah. Oh, you already fired that person. Good choice. This is probably the most cursed thing I have ever seen. What? It's just a child petting a dog. Oh, that's a full grown human in a dog suit. Yeah, it gets creepier when you realize it's a full-grown human that this child is petting. Just take away the dog suit. Yeah, it gets real creepy real fast. All right. Look, I understand that furries are probably just innocent, trying to live their life like animals. Sure. But sometimes it just comes off real creepy, all right? Oh, see? Furries getting arrested. Why? What happened? Uh, some sort of costumed orgy, right? Oh, no. I just don't even want to know. All right? I don't want to know what you did, Hammy the Hamster. I am ashamed of you. You got caught. What is your wife going to think? She was in there, too? Oh, no. Yeah, okay, that's a little weird. Um, Pikachu. What... What attack is this? What attack is this that Pikachu's using? Oh my god, spit out Ash. Ash Ketchum's in there. My children have been really into Pokemon lately, and I love it. 
They've been watching the original series. They've been begging me to watch it. I'm like, okay. Like their whole TV time now is Pokemon. I'm loving it. I'm just chilling with them watching it. Oh, you want a little more TV time today? Oh, that that's fine. This is kind of adorable. It's just a giant Pikachu petting person. Oh yeah, you really needed a picture of that, didn't you? Photo opportunity. He doesn't look too thrilled. Oh, what? My little pony creep fest. Oh, you can't go from adorable to super creepy. It's like a shock to my system. Is that photoshopped or did you make a paper mache mask to make yourself one of the ponies? I'm scared. I'm terrified. Actually, don't take the mask up. I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Let's just move on. Where is this video even going now? Now I'm just look like it's drifted off into furry land. Ah, dang it. Oh, this is what was happening. This is, oh, this is what was happening behind the closed door. See? Hammy the hamster. You dirty dog. Oh, and a pig too. Man, what is happening right now? Why does this costume exist and you got the straps over top? And please tell me you're going out for Halloween, right? This isn't like one of those things where your husband's like, you know what? Just do it for me this one time. And she's like, okay, we'll play the three little pigs in the bedroom. I don't know why I always gotta play the pig. Look, honey, I just think it suits you. All right, we gotta move on from this creepy stuff. What do we got here? Oh, this one is a story. Okay, it's story time. Everybody tuck in. What do you, you need your, you need your coffee and your popcorn. You got your snack. Okay, story time. I had a server tell me about how he was harassed into going to a church baptism ceremony by a not so close friend and to get them off his back, he agreed. He decided sometime before that of what he was going to be, what is this sentence? He decided sometime before that of, he decided sometime before that if he was gonna be forced to do this, he might as well have fun with it, right? So he goes to Lush and buys one of the black bath bombs and cuts it in half. Now fast forward to the day of, and he is wearing a small harness under his shirt that he keeps both halves of the bath bomb, one either shoulder blade. This is written so badly, it's so hard for me to read it. Part of the stupidity of this is, why didn't you proofread before you wrote the story? You're not doing this server story justice. Okay, I'm done venting about the... Let's just continue. He volunteers to get baptized. They take him up to put him in the white robe, and then he waits for his turn. Now the friend who invited him had no clue what he was doing. They are pleasantly surprised to see him participating. Honestly, a mistake on their part. I don't buy this because of the way it's written. Honestly, a mistake on their part. Like, that just seems so out of place. Anyway, I'm getting mad about how this is written more than anything now. I'm, this story is just, I don't like it. Uh, we'll continue, whatever. I'll try to stop getting mad about the writing. I only knew this guy for a max of 45 minutes and I could already tell this dude was a chaos entity. You're just like trying to steal his story and put your pizzazz on it. So his turn comes up and they go to dunk him and the water immediately starts to foam and turn black and he starts screaming like a banshee, jumps out of the water and hisses at the priest. Everyone and lost it and her was banned from everything attending that. It was a cool story, honestly. It's just, it was butchered in the writing. Why did I even put this in here? I didn't realize. I just kind of basically knew what the story was. And then a lot of the times I'll be like, ah, I got the gist of it and then I'll read it verbatim in the video and now I realize this is dumb this is a bad writing bad writing it's a cool story though all right let's move on women you don't need college you need faith a bible and a good cookbook ah a gal what a bad lesson to be teaching women all right someone needs to do a bath bomb Thing to, to her to scare her if she was in that baptism church at that time maybe this would have changed her faith changed her life look you can be faithful that's fine but why can't you also be smart and go to college and get a job why does that why does it have to be one or the other it's a stupid way to think here's a news report thing going on and what is happening with these eyebrows sir i just feel like you you can't be the most intelligent if your eyebrows look like that right wait a minute what's her eyebrows look like crap too the hell is going on here i think they have some sort of weird camera that 
takes away 10 pounds from your eyebrows. I think this camera does not catch eyebrows. It's this camera doesn't make you look good in the eyebrow area. I think that's what's happening here. Or they're just both having a bad eyebrow day. Wow, it's weird. How do my eyebrows look? Ah, bushy and disgusting. Great, just like I like them. Here's someone at a casino that I'm guessing is not winning. Wow. He's going to jail. He's going to jail. Yeah, usually you don't act like this when you're winning a lot of money. Look at this poor server over here. You pelted her in the head with some chips give that woman a raise okay she's been attacked by this by this sore loser don't gamble money you don't have all right that's the rules of gambling don't gamble so much that you want to jump up on the table and start throwing chips everywhere all right you're gonna go to jail this person's right the commentary is right he's going to jail he's going to jail good commentary very obvious commentary. Couldn't think of anything clever to say, could you? Yeah, he's going to jail. He's going to jail. Here's a person who is not getting their own way. This is an example of someone who is probably just being faced with not getting their own way for the first time in their life. She looks pretty young. I think what happened, according to the description of this video when it was posted, was that uh, she got caught vaping in there and it was like a no vaping area. So uh, they were like, no, you can't do this here. And then she was like, just like, boo hoo, stomp my feet. What did you think would happen? You thought you'd stomp your feet and cry and they'd be like, well, you know what? She seems really upset. She's waving her fingers in my face and being super annoying. So you know what? I, I'm just going to leave. No, you got arrested because you're making a scene now. Also, you made them mad. I don't think he should have poked you in the shoulder there, though. That was a little excessive, but you know what? It could have been a lot worse. Let's be honest. Look, when the police approach you, I guarantee if she was just like, oh, sorry, I didn't know this was a no smoking area or whatever. And they would have been like, okay, that's fine. But you had to stomp your feet and do a little hissy fit and cry. How did that go? Did that work out better for you? Here's someone who's been working on their body and they finally got to the beach. It, you know, the nice weather's here, they got to show it off. <laughs> Dang, that's an eight pack. Okay, be jealous. Be jealous, I'm jealous. Actually, I have enough hair that I could shave an eight pack into this. Oh, yeah. Where is Nova? Man, Nova was supposed to be in this video, and I just realized she's not behind me. She got locked out of the office. Hold on. Nova? <sighs> oh, girl, you're supposed to be working. Come on. Come on. You haven't been in this entire video. It's one of my longest videos, and you haven't even been in it. Guess I'll just have to refilm the entire thing, Nova. Yeah, don't look so sad. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, let's continue. I love saying that over and over again. Why is this man slapping this raccoon? Dude, let's him. watch. All right, I think that he has a... He is choking, though. A little bit lower, Bill. <laughs> Upward motion. There you go. There it is! A little bit lower. Let's save this one. Oh, a little lower. Let's go. You're not going to die. You're not going to die. You saved this one. I hope that you got that. I hope that you got that. Oh, shoot. You probably thought what I thought. 
At first, I was like, man, why is this guy hitting this raccoon? Stop, I don't want to watch this. And I was actually just watching the video, hoping the raccoon was going to turn and attack him or something. And I'd be like, yeah, satisfying. That's why you don't beat up a raccoon. But no, he was actually saving the raccoon who was choking. Did you see it? Because I missed it the first time. Let's slow-mo that. <laughs> Projectile that right out. Oh man. The sad news is they're hunters and they just gave him a 10 minute head start and then found him in the woods later, but at least he survived to be hunted. No, they didn't do that. Okay, I'm, I actually made that up. I don't know, that could have happened, but I don't know for sure. I don't have the facts. I don't know what happened to that raccoon afterwards. I'm hoping it lived a very long life and it's still alive right now. But good for you guys, you saved a raccoon. That's amazing. I was ready to yell at them. <laughs> Just, what was it choking on? You probably fed it. And then it started choking. You're like, ah, oh, crap, we gotta save it. I mean, we almost killed it, but then we saved it. Yeah, good raccoon. And the raccoon didn't even turn and attack you, showing that it's at least smart enough to know you saved its life. It just waddled off like, ah, oh, this has been a really bad day. When a human has to save my life, I gotta go find some garbage to eat. I'm out of here, guys. Just peace out, man. It's a feel-good moment to end on. Anyway, this has been one of my longest videos to date. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, let's do it again sometime. So, uh, if you wanna... So, if you made it this far, honestly, you're the best. Thank you for watching this far in the video. Wa thank you for watching the entire video. Hit that like button, leave some feedback in the comments, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, because if you made it through this video this far, you're either just watching it because you hate me so much, or you're actually you're just a new fan, and thank you for being here. Check out my Patreon, patreon.com slash fluffy talks, and also check out my merch, all that new merch stuff, and I will see you, and I will see you again soon. Come up to your screen real quick. Come on. Come on. <gasps> Boop! Oh, I'm so glad you joined me, Nova. I'm so glad you're in the background now. Oh. Nova. You're a slacker. She's right here. Come up to your screen. <gasps> Boop. I couldn't remember if I did that or not. See, so you might have got two. Bye.